Hello everyone, this is Doc Freddy again. Uh, welcome to the part two series of our discussion with regards to EM technology. In our previous video, we talk about microorganisms, both the beneficial and harmful microorganisms, and we also discuss their function in the environment. So for today, we're going to talk specifically about EM technology. So EM technology has been introduced and is being used in more than 140 countries already in the world. So that includes the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, Kenya, and other African countries, including the US, Canada, and Europe. All right. So these are just some of the countries that I have mentioned. And in the Philippines, this is the brand that is being distributed in the country. So basically, EM technology was developed by Professor Teru Higa of the University of Ryukyu in Okinawa, Japan in the 1980s. So what is EM? So EM is consists of safe and human friendly microorganisms, which are one, we have lactic acid bacteria, we have yeast and phototropic bacteria. So lactic acid bacteria, they are the one responsible in decomposing organic matter through fermentation, and they also act as barrier that will keep harmful microbes away, right? So they also convert large amount of sugar into lactic acid through fermentation. And they inhibit the growth of pathogens and other harmful bacteria by lowering the pH. Used in the production of fermented foods such as cheese and yogurt. Discovered by Louis Pasteur in 1857. I'll make a different video on how to formulate our own lactic acid bacteria. It's very easy, my friends. Ladies, uh, we just use rice water, you know, that water that we use to wash the rice before we cook them. And then through the use of milk, then we can produce lactic acid bacteria. That, but that will be a different topic. And they're also beneficial for human beings because they can lower cholesterol. Yeast, on the other hand, decompose organic matter by fermentation and they produce the bioactive substances such as hormones, enzymes, and converted into plant food. Okay, that's why they're very essential in the growth of our plants. They are also used in brewing alcohol, making bread, and for nutrition, and whatnot. Improves immune systems of humans, animals, and plants. So if we want to improve our immune system, including for our plants, so they are resistant to diseases and pests, uh, yeast is one of those microorganisms that we need to apply to our uh, plants and animals. Small group of microorganisms, yet very essential for human life. Phototropic bacteria, on the other hand, is the one that is in charge of, you know, uh, neutralizing offensive smell. Okay, in case this is sprayed on plants, so this phototropic bacteria will increase the photosynthesis ability of plants and the sugar content, right? And then, of course, uh, if we use EM in, uh, in our pig pens and chicken coop, okay, uh, we actually neutralize this bad smell, offensive smell.
So the combination of these three bacteria, including indigenous microbes, we call them now as the EM technology power, right? So can you guess how many microorganisms in this one gram of soil? In fact, they are not visible in our, through our human eye, no? So they can only be seen using microscopes. There are about 100 you know, million microbes in just one gram of soil, right? So as we mentioned a while ago, there are harmful microbes, there are beneficial microbes. At the same time, there are about opportunistic microbes, okay? So in terms of population, about 90% of microorganisms available in the environment, they are neutral by nature, all right? So if we increase the beneficial microbes, these opportuni opportunistic microbes will also become beneficial microbes, all right? But if harmful microbes are dominant, then you can imagine the, how polluted the environment will be, right? So in terms of EM philosophy, first and foremost, it must be low cost and affordable to farmers. In fact, one liter of EM1, okay, can actually be used, will, will be enough to, you know, to, for a tech 30 hectare farmland, okay, or 300,000 square meters. That's how affordable, low cost, this EM technology is. And in Kenya, by the way, EM1 it costs only about 350, 375 per one liter. All right? One dollar being 100 shillings. Okay? So you can compute and, you know, uh, convert it into your own currency. Another philosophy of EM is that it should be easy to use and understand. Highly effective in healing the soil. In, in the environment and the environment okay so just think of very acidic soil because too much use of pesticides synthetic uh, fertilizer uh, our soil has become very acidic one way to heal the soil and the environment is to apply EM technology all right and we will be discussing these things as we progress in our discussion. It needs to be sustainable and not to create pollution. Yes, it's uh, environment friendly, it's human uh, friendly, it is also friendly to animals, it is friendly to plants, okay? It's not toxic. And of course, since we EM technology is used to uh, recycle in the degradation of this organic matter, in the composition of this organic matter, as I mentioned a while ago, we will be more sustainable. All right? So that is the very last slide for with regards to EM technology. Another is it must not cause harm to humans, animals, plants, or even to invisible life in the soil. You know, the problem is when we use insecticide, Chlorine, for that matter, okay, when we apply chlorine to the water, we kill both the good bacteria and the bad bacteria, all right? So that's exactly what we are doing. And when we spray chemicals in our farm, we kill both, including beneficial insects like spiders, okay, bees. These are beneficial insects. Yeah, we, we kill all of them. So... Through the use of EM, uh, they are not harmful to human beings, to animals, and even to plants and in the environment. All right. So I would like to end there for our second part of this series. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that not notification bell so that now whenever we have new videos, you are notified immediately. All right. And if you like this uh, video, you can. You can share it with your friends. Okay, so that's it for now. And uh, 
Our next topic is about what are the uses of EM technology for agriculture, all right? So that will be our next presentation.